We're revisiting the recipes of the past with a fresh set of eyes. Can gelatin salads, soupy casseroles, and baked bean molds be brought into the 21st century? You can bet our Del Monte fresh chefs are willing to try. Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm George. Welcome back to another episode of Retro Recipe Refresh with Del Monte. Where we try to find out if some of those old recipes from the past, those things that you see on Instagram or Pinterest, if those things are worth making anymore. If there's anything about those old dishes that can be saved. There may not be. There might <laughs> there be. Might not be. We're You're here right. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the unveiling. Yeah, yeah, this is the moment I've been waiting for. What do you think it is? I don't know, but I'm scared. Me too. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not cute. It doesn't look like it's gonna taste cute it really either. Doesn't. It's real brown. It's really brown. And there's yeah. a lot of stuff embedded in it. It's it looks like meat just sort of suspended in this gelatin. It's very it's firm, really firm. firm it's not really moving. Should we taste it? You have to go first. Uh, I was afraid you would say that. <laughs> Taking a small bite. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ooh. What is that? Mm -mm. I can't even tell what kind of meat that is. I, mean, I know, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that is not a good I'm dish. Real, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. There's a lot wrong. It's Usually not... I can find something redeeming in these, but this one is just all kinds of wrong. Well, let's, let's find out what's in there. Let's read about this. Okay, this call? is the jellied meatloaf. <laughs> it's being very generous. Gelatin, cold water, soup stock, or diluted gravy. Cooked chopped meat. Whatever kind of meat you've got laying around meat. there. Just go for it. Onion, celery, a little green or red pepper. Just a little. I mean, honestly, the only thing that I think I like on this plate are these bell peppers. What if we take some bell peppers and cut them in half and stuff them with a seasoned meat mixture? Seasoning. Of, yeah. yeah, seasoning. That would be good. That's the key. <laughs> and then maybe a little cheese on top. And a little cheese. Bake them. Them, yeah. So they'll be nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Cool. Let's go shopping. All right, so here's uh, you know, here's that beautiful bell pepper, just uh, stuffed with some nice seasoned turkey meat and rice, a little cheese, a little crispy breadcrumb. It's it's, completely different thing. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like cat food anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like people food, and <laughs> we're people, so. Yeah. <laughs> Should we taste right, it? Let's try it. All right. Yeah, it's really delicious. It's really savory. It kind of has a comfort food quality to it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for joining us as we uh, tried to revive a jellied meatloaf and turn it into something that you might actually want to eat today. <laughs> and if you find any uh, interesting retro recipes on Pinterest or Instagram that you'd like us to try to refresh, post a link to them below and we'll see if we can take on the challenge. And meanwhile, go to fruits.com to uh, gain inspiration and keep on cooking. <laughs>